Good morning. This morning we are going to Billy Max and we are gonna finish it up. Ethan, just got Ethan loaded with the dump truck with the amount of sand that we're gonna need for the last paver pad install there. We've done two of them so far. This will be the third one. Um, we're picking up one of our buddies, Dylan, today to help us finish it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in this truck and hit the gas station and then hit old Billy Max. So I will see you guys at the job site. I think that's a good move here. It is a good move. Getting some gutters is always a good move. So it doesn't just rain down. Well, I mean, right here, it's sloping away. So it shouldn't be no, coming too good. much. I, I oh, it does? Yeah. On top? Yeah. 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 Some gutters would be a good move. Yeah, you can see a little washout right there, too, though. Like right along this line? Oh, even. Okay. That's not washed up. Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I see it right along this the line here. Some sand is gone because yeah. of it dropping on it. Yeah. Cool. Get it not ruin all the pavers I just put in here. I know, buddy. <laughs> if I could be like Adam, I'm picking up some of the floor he just put in. <laughs> Why is that? Because it's uh, going to be the kitchen. Oh, okay. So you guys just did all this? Yeah. It's fire. It's fire, man. It's badass. <laughs> it's badass. They brought you some mushroom salt, I see. Yeah, see, well, it's been raining like a mother. Nah, and plus, right that was water, so I turned that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to. Let nature take over. All right, move those bikes. I just threw them in there, you know? Everything I don't need I don't need to do anything in here besides plug this Are cord we in. Well, uh, spray that or not? What? Seal it? No. Yeah, we can. I got the best season. I got the best sealer, man. Come on now. What's that? So I got the best sealer. Come on now. You know that. I don't want to carry them pieces. I need to cut all the way over here either. Cut them right there. Outcome will be at the end. Let me show you something. If we get, you gonna give it a skid? You got places for throwing a skid for the bonfire or not? Yeah, I can get rid of them. Yeah. Do whatever you gotta do. You gotta charge them. I can get rid of them. But what I want to end up with is all the all the extra brick where that is. So I'll, you know. I need to bring the skids here back for that. Well, that's like in another day when you're in the neighborhood. Yeah. You have to be done right. All right, if you can do that for me down the road. Yep. I gotta get it. I gotta get this going. We I can do that. Up a bit. Um, thinking about making a trip to the dump real quick on all the scrap. Unless okay. you're gonna you're gonna take a lot of cement to get rid of. It's gonna start raining. You know. You said nine o'clock. Yeah, we need to get to work then. Get to work. It's raining right now. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do, you gotta do. Just let me know if you need to go in the garage. You know where the chairs are. Right. Just let me know. We will. All right, buddy. All right. See ya. So you guys can start digging out that uh that area over there, and then putting in sand once it's all dug out. Just make sure the top is an inch under that pad, and then make sure it slopes away with the level. Put a paver down low, a paver at the top, and as long as it's sloping down and it's an inch under at the top, then that's good enough. Yeah, yeah, towards the gate. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, so while Ethan and Dylan start working on the pad that we're gonna lay today, I gotta cut in this drain over here.
think you're taking out too much dirt. I'll not be dealing with it now. No, I'm just saying like right there. I mean, look at how much lower you're in the concrete and that's coming out and that's even lower than the thing. It's humid out now, buddy. Hope not. Go ahead and give that a whack right in the middle. Oh. Feeling humid yet? We just started though. <laughs> That's what I, was, I was like, you'll be fine, dude. Just because at first we were both doing like digging, doing this, and then both don't them. I was like, Listen, you just don't. I'll feel the wheel and then you just take it. So. Shit, I don't know if that's gonna be much easier, but either way. He was shoveling. He wasn't doing the best thing. Yeah. Song. He's gone. John! Straight down. <laughs> That's like that, man. I got this. E, we'll throw concrete in that one to get that out of the way real quick. I said we'll throw the concrete in that wheelbarrow and get it out of the way real quick. Yeah. Some wax. Uh, <laughs> we might have to just start dumping the wheelbarrow of dirt behind the dump truck so we can get sand out of there. There's going to be a lot of dirt. It's going to be getting mixed in with the sand. More labor intensive than detailing, that's for sure. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. Oh, Billy Mac. Billy Mac attack. Are you going to rip us some dogs? Yep, he always making lunch. Oh, yeah. He's, he's trying to get customer of the year award. <laughs> Is there like a hose out here or something? Yeah, there's a, right around that side over there on that pad, there's a hose. Yeah, I swear that dude looks like Stan Lee. Stan Lee? Yeah, the Marvel dude. <laughs> I wasn't at Marvel like that. No, Stan Lee. He's, he's, he's in every single Marvel movie and he's the one who came with all the comics. He came up with Spider-Man, he came with the whole he he made all of it. Oh. <laughs> Get your autograph, bro. <laughs> the name's Stan Lee. It sounds like Stanley. Yeah, literally. Stan Lee. <laughs> Stan Lee. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. What a name. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It is a hot and humid one out today. I don't know. How do you get yourself so dirty? I don't oh. know. Oh. Sure. I don't know, bro. I just get myself dirty. I guess. Why do I feel like the wife's beamer would look? He smoked that dude's old vet. <laughs> 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 I don't know why, but I really don't like the soft top bets. I just hate the Soft top ropes are alright. Like the tops? Yeah. The old Yacht tops? 
I hate it when I see someone in a convertible with their windows up. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Top down yeah, top up. down yeah. windows up. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. Uh, iPhone, like, oh, we're about to get dumped on right now. That thing, bro, it's so fucking slow. Oh, shit. <laughs> I love how we just saw that one coming. <laughs> uh, oh. uh. Go ahead, Dylan, and just throw it behind you. That some of that dirt, like, spread it out kind of behind you. Because this is a little low over there, yeah. Where I took that pad out. Yeah. And I'll rake it out over there. You could just continue that all everything on that left side kind of just throw it back over in that area instead of in the wheelbarrow. Everything that's not grass we can kind of keep in there. Alright, we got the area all scalped out. About to start putting some sand down, compaction, and then we can start putting some pavers down. Got a bunch of rain just randomly coming in spotty. So every time it rains, we just got to pull off for a second. Don't want to be too soaked, even though I'm already pretty soaked right now from sweat. It is humid out here. And customer sadly wants these concrete footer pieces. It's not actually a footer. It's just like a, a poured concrete curb at the neighbor's house. He wants us to cut them out. I'll go show you right now. It's we already installed one over on this pad on the other side of the house, and it wasn't very fun to do. Like this pad, we just did our normal concrete edge like we always do, which I don't see why we don't just do that, but. He had us put this in here we got that put in set in and he wants us this concrete curb here wants us to take it out he already cut it right there this long piece take it out and put it on one of the sides over there which easier said than done like I gotta take it out and then I gotta cut all the edges off of it because there's concrete on the bottom from where they formed it up that went out a little bit and then I gotta make sure then like you know the bottom of this it's all not the same height it's rigid so you basically have to set it down in the area that you dig see if it's high or low pick it back up make it either higher or lower based on what it looks like and then just keep putting it back it's not fun so definitely have to charge a little more for that <clears throat> normally i wouldn't really care but we have to be done today and this customer likes to hit us with doing stuff the day we get here not talking about it beforehand so it's a little aggravating like he wants us to put one on this side and one on that side so we have two of them that we're supposed to put in here so We'll see how that goes. But we got sand coming in now. Need some wheel bearings, need some WD-40. Just dump it right here.
dump it right here in this uh, corner again. So don't let E abuse you now. If you get tired, just take a break. I'll just get a, a few more wheelbarrows. I can tell this corner is low. We'll bring that up a little bit. I gotta bring Danny and uh, Twisted Flamingo, or whatever the heck that place is called. Twisted Flamingo? What, what do they call it? Whiskey Tango. That's what it's called. I don't even know what that is. I told you that, that gunshot. Oh. You would like that, don't Bro, they Whiskey had a, Tango. They had this, it was a full action rifle, I forget what it shot, but it was full wood grain, the whole bottom, it was like a raw wood grain, I mean it was sealed or whatever, like they put an acrylic on it or something, but they had like a built-in suppressor in the barrel, I was like, it's sick. Giving up on your hair already, Dylan? Are you talking about this horse? Are you talking about this horse? Oh, are you saying I'm sorry? No, I said you giving up on your hair already, Dylan? Huh? You giving up on your hair already? Dude, you and Kyler are older than me, and my hairline's more sharp than y'all's. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Dude, this thing's not working, it's clumping up. Yeah. Go ahead and run the big earth and uh, get a quarter yard of sand. Okay. You gotta have them dump it on that one side. Yeah, cause unless I just dump that dirt right now and put it back in. It's already gonna pile on the ground. Yeah, but that's a lot more work if you do that. Yeah. I'm just worried they're gonna mix that shit. Just tell them to dump it on that one side. Yeah. We don't need, like, a, we don't even probably need that much. Yeah, it's in my wallet. The purple, it's a purple one. I don't know where the green one is. I put it on your desk with the receipt. Yeah, well that's still there. I said look in the, in the toolbox, the top of the toolbox is what I remember.
I should probably keep it over by the actual toolbox. That thing's kind of small. The little thing? No, it's got the gauge on it with the long handle and the, literally a gun. Oh, I just remember the... What the about the... The small one is the... Yeah, where's that at? On the compressor. Oh, yeah. I never take that thing off. I don't know why, but it's always been off. I think it came with something when we got the compressor. No, we bought that thing separate. Remember? Yeah, to blow out the skid steer. I remember we specifically bought that separately. It's gonna be in that corner going that way. piece brother lined it up with a cut piece I was wondering why that shit don't look right Just a tad bit this way. It looked like you push them more that way. So point it that way. I want like this. That's good. Yeah, kind of like every other one, just kind of switch it up. Good, how are you? Pretty good. Is the other side okay? Yeah, yeah, you can go around the other side, no problem. Yeah, I don't want to step on 
I appreciate it. Now that I got this side laid, just try and walk on these pavers right here. Oh, these things are wet. Bro had that 1 p.m. alarm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You gotta hit with the Chinese rice field workers. Every time the breeze comes around, they all stand up from being bent over and just. Uh, Yep. Gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, my neck, yeah. my back. My back already hurts. Yep. Yeah, when I got out of high school and started working papers, my back didn't stop hurting until like a year later. <laughs> it was rough for a whole year. Alright, so we got this pad laid. We're about to start cutting it in, putting the border pavers in, and then <laughs> dealing with these concrete slab pieces that we got to drop in here. Alright, so we got all the border in, cut it all in, and uh, now we're going to put our concrete curb. I uh, talked the customer into not bringing those curbs over here that I will just pour him new ones like that since he wants that look so much. 
but we won't be able to do that today i'm just going to come back on saturday form it and pour it up but for now we're just going to put in a temporary curb because i don't want stuff washing out i want to hold it together so pouring a temporary curb so i'm not gonna try and make it look all nice i'm just gonna pour it in there sand it and then we're gonna get out of here i'm gonna blow it off first real quick Ethan has to go to my uncle's house and do some electrical work. Yeah. Sealer of cement? What, what is the sealer for the cement? For the pavers. Pavers, yeah. And that. He wants to do the curb. Curb too? Well, that's not, I don't know how well it's going to work on the curb. Why? Because it's meant for, I mean, it'll just darken up the color of whatever the curb is. I don't know what it'll do when you do that on top. We just you got you got any sample of it? Take these with you today. And just spray a little bit on it, or yeah, I can try it. Just see what it looks like. That's all. I only got a double coat on those. And that fucking gonna be kick ass, isn't it? That green. You don't even like it, do you? You don't like it. Tell me. No, it actually does match uh, with the house pretty good. Yeah, I know. Better than that one all the way to the left on the outside there that you said he did. Yeah. Better than that. I'm working. I got shit to do. I need you to sand sand that one where the drain is and then sand that one. Eh? Start loading that damn dirt in the dump truck.
Drink some water, brother. I know, see, it feels like you can't ever get enough. That was a pile. Feels never ending when you're by yourself shoveling a pile. I would too 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 from like, oh my god, just like, all day. <laughs> Literally feels never ending. Mm. And that is all for this video, folks. Um, I don't know. I was really ready to get out of there and go home. This was a long day and it was a hundred degrees this day. And as you saw, it was raining all morning. So it was extremely humid there. And, uh, I didn't really do a full walk around to show all the areas, uh, that we installed kind of like an end walk around so i apologize about that i will be going back to uh put those concrete um curbs that the customer wanted in so i i'll film the uh, a whole walk around whenever i go back to do that but not really looking excited or not really looking forward to that um you know the customer he's a cool guy he's a nice guy but at the same time i feel like he was trying to take advantage of me um trying to get a semi close relationship with me and be all cool and make us lunch which you know i i making lunch is supposed to be a kind gesture it's not meant to make you do more work or get you to do more work and that's basically kind of what he was after after all um he's still asking for more things to be done he's happy completely satisfied with everything that we did but he also threw a lot more on our plate than my original quote was. And he still owes me $300 from the original quote. You know, I told him the final amount and he paid me, wrote me a check and then gave me $100 cash and I didn't even look at the check. And when I got home, I realized there's $300 left off of the check plus the 100. So the check was really $400 short gave me a hundred so now he's 300 short so he still wants me to come back and do the concrete curb so obviously i'm gonna tell him that you uh you gypped me a little bit there that i'm gonna need the full money if i'm gonna come back and i'm also gonna charge you more um you know i just i I'm all for helping people out and going the extra mile but this guy kind of took advantage of me a little bit so uh, if I'm going to go back and put those curbs that he wants in, then uh, I'm going to charge him for it, for sure. Um, other than that, I mean, the job turned out good. Everything was great. Um, I just, I don't know, it really rubs me the wrong way that, you know, trying to be buddy-buddy. And I thought we were getting pretty buddy-buddy, you know, as as buddy-buddy as a 70-year-old man and a 25-year-old kid could get um but uh yeah i don't know kind of rubbed me the wrong way after especially being 300 dollars short on his total um but you know he's one of those guys where when i tell him he's 300 dollars short he's just like oh I, i'm not good with numbers this and that <laughs> so i mean uh, you know take that however you want to but uh i appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.